we actually have a 3D model of what's happening during the brain during a high velocity collision. And um, doc, Dr. Herskowitz, will you tell us a little bit of what we're looking at because we're seeing this video, but we, we need your expertise on this. So what are the, the three casings for the brain that we're seeing right mm -hmm. now? Okay, so um, the covering, you can see the brain, and the covering of the brain is called the meninges, and it's made up of three different layers, the pia, the arachnoid, and the dura, and those are these three layers. And there's also some spinal fluid called cerebral spinal fluid, uh, which bathes the brain. The brain sort of rests in this fluid, and that acts as a protective mechanism for the brain. However, in movements like this, such as a, a whiplash, the skull doesn't move, but the brain will slosh inside the skull and thereby cause the injuries we see um, in the brain. So I'm seeing, like you just said, the brain is b bouncing around, but everything that you have uh, explained, that is sort of supposed to protect the brain, correct? That's a structure. That's correct. That does protect the brain, but not in these high velocity uh, injuries in these whiplash you know, forward and backward of the head. The brain still sloshes inside uh, the skull and can cause injury. And what kind of damage are we seeing when a, with these type of br injuries happen, like a mm -hmm. whiplash within, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the brain? Well, you can see uh, there's things you can and you can't see. So the cascade of events that occur in concussion, you can not see, and those are the neurons that are affected. That's mm -hmm. a microscopic level. What you can see sometimes is the, the areas that are most vulnerable uh, to injury uh, are the frontal aspect and the temporal aspect. So when the, when, the, when the brain moves inside the skull, you can actually damage the brain against the skull, and that's called a coup contra coup injury. And you can see uh, hematomas and contusions actually in the brain from these types of injuries.